Hey guys, Artosis here. Welcome back to the Castle Star League Season 4. This is a best of seven from the round of four. And it's game number two. If you missed game number one, it is epic. Go check it out. This is Rush against Best. Of course, game one, it was so back and forth. Absolutely could have gone either way. But Best did a good enough job just barely denying Rush's bases. And Rush ended up falling at the end of the day. Uh, that was a crazy one. And now we're on to Ringing Bloom. It's cross spawns, so that's important to note. This is a map where Nexus first is super strong, Command Center first, or, or Barracks Expand is super strong. Uh, and then you kind of can grow into a big macro game, like a ground macro game, but I think it's more likely that you'll see something like uh, a, a carrier tech from best. I don't know if you'll do it this game, but it, they're very, very strong on this map if you can get carriers out. And that can work especially well if you go Nexus first. Okay, so a depot right off the bat here uh, from Rush. Best checking the center, making sure there's no center barracks. All right, that's an important thing to check if you want to go Nexus first. Uh, you know, you can skip checking it, but then it's kind of like a coin flip. Uh, if your opponent went for those center barracks, and then you're just going to die. All right, for Rush's side, he's actually not scouting for anything right now. And that can be okay. You can actually make a Zealot tight wall here very, very easily. So even if there's like a Zealot first, unless it's very close and the probe gets up there pretty quickly, he'll probably end up holding it anyway. So pretty decent for him. And it is going to be a command center first against the Nexus first. There's the command center. There's the Nexus, both before two minutes. So both players playing pretty darn greedily, and in fact, uh, Rush playing a little bit more greedily than Best, who scouts the center, uh, making sure he's not getting cheesed. So the probe comes in. Of course, you got to take this seriously. You never know uh, what might be out there because he did skip scouting. Throws down that barracks, and the second depot should go right here. And, well, I guess he's going to scout first, but uh, when you're ready for that second depot, that is where it's going to go. He'll probably make it after his gas. Best. The fact that Best hasn't stolen a gas, I think, tells Rush a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of times you'd probably snag that right away if you had some sort of tech rush coming. I instead, he doesn't. So I think you look at this and Rush say, yeah, it's probably a Nexus first. There's that second depot. So now he is pretty much Zealot proof. And just now takes the gas. Still chasing that probe down. Ooh, nice offensive pylon. Just slow the mining a little bit. One SCV trapped, and of course that does screw up pathing if you try to ignore it. It's command center about to finish. Probe still being about as annoying as it possibly can be. Might try another offensive pile, and we'll see. Cancels that one. Look over at best space. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary, just producing probes nonstop. Rush still has not scouted him. He is getting there pretty darn late. And he's finally going to get up there and confirm what he's already thinking about. Oh, another offensive pylon. Uh, but yeah, this has been very nice for Best. Because when he scouts something like this, he knows there's 0% chance of any damage coming. So he can do things like just probe non-stop. He doesn't have to worry about producing units. And his economy can really pick up. Of course, we do have that non-stop uh, SCVs here from Rush. So keeping up with that worker count. Finally, the two Marines will get rid of that uh, probe-making pylon. Or pylon-making probe, rather. And all the offensive pylons will eventually be dealt with. That was a lot of money that he spent, but he does want to slow rush down as much as possible. Now, the SCV looks like he did take a couple hits there. So, a little bit of damage on him, and a Dragoon going to pop out soon. So, he's going to hightail it out. We still don't know about the tech, of course, in this highly greedy game. Three Marines total going to kill off this pylon. And finally, all of the uh, harassment from that initial probe is done. Been in that base just about forever. All right, add-on comes up. And now let's see where you want to go as both sides. Okay, Robo and Second Gate. So this is like a pretty safe opener for Bess. He's not really going to die to anything with this. And we'll see what he wants to do with the Robo. Does he want to go into Reaver Tech? Uh, Reaver is very strong on this map, and it makes you super safe if you want to do something like carriers. 
Uh, or, I, I mean, Reaver is probably, like, as you get hit the pro level, the most common opener that you see anyways. Oh, look at that placement. I actually didn't know about that, but this bunker reaches all the way to here. So you actually can't harass him at all, and it's behind the depots. Beautiful placement there by Rush. Just perfect defense. All right, Siege Tank on the way. We don't see an armor yet, and we don't see an academy yet. So we, yeah, and he's actually producing more Marines. So he's definitely going to be doing a push out, right? It, it, we'll see how many tanks it's going to have. And in fact, a couple coming up. So he might actually go up to four fact. That is a real possibility. Uh, a lot of Protoss players, when they see something like a quick command center, will end up going for a fast third Nexus. And that's actually exactly what we see from best. It's Observer 2 Gate, third Nexus. So if Rush goes for a big uh, tank vulture marine push, there's a decent chance he can kill off this Nexus. And if Best tries to defend it and loses a lot of units, he can definitely lose the game there as well. All right, speed on the way, mines on the way as they should be. And how, oh, he's going up to six tanks. Okay, or five tanks rather. This is the very powerful push. And without any additional tech, oh, okay, he is going into Reaver. So the Reaver will be here before the tanks get there but with speed mines this many marines i'm sure he'll pull an scv or two to go with them and then a bunch of vultures rallying up there is still a lot of potential for damage with this push now behind it there's the engineering bay definitely needs that uh for whatever might be coming back at him and of course you can set up turrets in the push and in fact if you do set up turrets up here this is all buildable terrain so you can put a lot of turrets down you can put down a bunker uh, you can siege up massively. It's really, really strong. We should see siege mode start. Yeah, there it is. Siege mode on the way. Armory on the way. And that's kind of the backup plan here. Uh, you might be going up to like a six fact from here. Uh, get a plus one upgrade as well. And let's see if Best can hold this. Puts a shield bear. I've never seen anyone do this at a third base. Oh, this is fascinating. Utilizing a shield battery here. The Reaver is on the way. Probe out there. Observers watching him come in. Let's see if Best can hold it. I mean, he's only got two gates, man. And the first Reaver is just now coming out. Okay, picking off anything he can. Immediately, Rush actually targets down. I, I guess it's the frontmost building, but he targets on that shield battery. So the shield battery won't be of any use. Dude, I like this so much right now for Rush. And Siege is about to finish. When Siege finishes, he should just destroy this. Look at this. The probe's being pulled as well. He's got to pull back those siege tanks a little bit. He's got to make sure that the goons don't get on top of him. More vultures coming in. The goons trying to hit the tanks, but he does start to pull those back. Beautiful control here from Rush. And Rush with a dominating spot. Look at this siege. Just awesome. Now, there is a shuttle on the way. There is speed on the way for that shuttle as well. Best is going to lose this Nexus 100%. He lost a bunch of probes. The game is not over, though, because this is a two-base rush, and we have a speed shuttle. So there might be some good harassment that can occur. We see the first turrets going to be made. eBay going to float over to give him some vision. We have range for Goliaths on the way. No Goliaths as of yet, but getting that upgrade just in case. Uh, it looks like he wanted to bust this push, and Rush actually just turning around. I guess since he doesn't have any turrets up there or anything, uh, this, this makes sense. So he backs up, and he can kind of remass and make his army much, much stronger for the next one. Oh, he turned around again. Okay, bringing up the reinforcement vultures, but he's not going to find a nexus here. And with the dragoons sitting that far back, do you actually want to do this attack? The vultures go in first and alone. If he gets a lucky mine hit, it can be huge, but the vultures block that lucky mine hit. Moving forward right now. In the meantime, the Reaver with 12 kills down in that natural. But Rush killing a lot of these goons. It looks like the goons will end up killing the siege tanks. But how much damage can we actually get on this Reaver? Drops it off in the main. Oh, it's going to go. It's going to fall. But you know what? It did a lot of damage over here. Stalled at that economy a little bit for Rush. And you can see their worker count is actually very, very similar. All the tanks in the push, all the vultures in the push got killed. The Reaver got killed. And Best snuck a third base over to kind of an interesting location that you don't think about much as Terran. That's really out of the way. So he might get away with that for a long time. That's really, really strong. He's cleared out all the mines here. So Rush is not even going to see this massive probe transfer to get that running. 
But Rush has his own third base on the way in the very obvious location. Whew. That was a crazy back and forth in the early game. Let's take a look and try to figure out who's ahead right now. Okay, for best, we have Four Gates, the Robotech. He has the speed upgrade already for the shuttles. He's getting Psy Storm right now. He's getting plus one. It's a little over halfway done. He has his third base. 53 probes overall, which is pretty healthy, making a fourth. Okay, that's what we have there. Just Dragoons, Zealots, and a couple Reavers. Looking at Rush, he's on four factories still, which is fine as he gets his economy really rolling. Uh, he has plus one armor on the way. Starport just starting now, so his uh, plus two is going to be a little bit delayed for sure. He's mining up and turning up this back natural which is really nice i think this must be an academy yep academy on the way okay not bad not bad for him either 60 workers on three bases looking solid defensively he's going to want to add some more production uh once once he kind of gets through his scv cycles here this is a pretty even game right now the only thing for rush that you're kind of sad about is that he doesn't have that uh, science facility as yet, but look at this. He best right now as we're trying to figure this out. Drops in a couple of uh, reavers with that speed shot. Hasn't taken too much damage, but with the where the turrets are, I don't think he can do anything else. Yeah, in come the Goliaths. The reavers end up not. Uh, they get. I mean, they get like a little bit, but overall that was better for Rush. Rush now 63 SCVs. He really kept his economy alive. Only traded a few units for that. The speed shuttle, of course, really important. But Best will continue to make them. He's got Psy Storm now and is readying those Psy Storm drops. Perfect defense, though. Can't really imagine very much getting in and doing damage. As you saw, the Reaver drop itself uh, not really being all that useful. Factories being added up. Uh, science facility all, yeah, a little over halfway done. So again, the 2-1 will be a little bit late. Now Best kind of taking the center of the map. He's got a very nice economy right now. The fourth base is up and mining. A couple speed vultures running around, seeing if they can get some harass. Eh, get a couple probes. It's all good. He kind of checks the location of the army and everything. A little bit of damage before they die. A lot more gates being added here from best. Good siege uh, here from Rush. He might be thinking about taking this as his fourth base. That would be the most natural one. Some Terrans actually could even end up taking this if they want to really cut the map in half. And Best taking another main makes a gigantic pylon here wall here as well, so Vultures can't get into Harass. And when Rush... Rush might actually think right now that he's ahead, uh, because I don't think he knows about this base yet. If he had, he would have definitely tried to sneak some Vultures up there. So he might be misreading the situation slightly. Because if you think that this is the only other Nexus that's up in mining, you you definitely feel ahead here as Rush. So Rush right now, you can see how many buildings he's putting out here. This is a very turtled thing that he's doing. This is like, you can't attack this as Protoss. This game looks to me like it's going to go pretty darn long. Uh, I mean, already we're up at over 13 minutes. Both sides looking pretty healthy right now as well. Just kind of running this Vulture through. You see all the upgrades coming for Bess. He has the Double Forge. He's getting Observer Speed. He's getting Kadaran Amulet. Uh, all very important things to make his army a lot stronger. Rush getting his EMP now. He does have that plus two attack that's been on the way for a while. Would love to see the plus two armor start up when he has a chance. But also the fourth command center. That's something that we saw him lacking against Best uh, in that previous game on Optimizer, right? That's In fact, honestly, that's why he lost is the 4th CC was just so late, he really couldn't secure it for a very long time. I think this SCV is getting ready to build it. The The positioning of that, that looks like a nice little nook to put it into. Continues to just build up with the depots. Like, this is... Honestly, you just can't attack this. He is invincible right there. Uh, all right, so the mines and everything kind of see some probes going up to this top right, so he's going to know that another main is taken. It's still completely fine for Rush right now. Yeah, we have uh, some scouting of the bottom left. He knows that this area is not taken. 
some decent harassment going on. You know, Best is not one of these 70 plus probe Protosses. Uh, you know, it is more trendy, especially at very high levels and very low levels to have less probes. It's kind of like those mid-level Protosses that go 70, 80 probes that just kind of refill their army forever with giant banks. Uh, but Best opting for a very, very strong army. Look, he's down 12 workers and up 34, 36 supply. So he's actually up 48 army supply right now. That is a gigantic difference. In fact, he even has two on upgrades, which is better than what Rush has. So I guess it makes sense in a way that Rush has made so many defenses here. But Rush can't just sit all game. Like the upgrades are important, but he does need to expand more. There it is. There's that command center. Uh, almost halfway done. And he does need to push out onto the map. The thing is, the way he's setting up, this looks like he's really expecting an attack. But if Best doesn't attack into here, it becomes hard to push over your own minefield. Do you kill off the mines or do you walk over it? Because what Best would like to do is attack into this army as it walks over the minefield and then he will win the battle. But it might be a very slow push over. If you don't just attack, move out. If you just like leapfrog tanks very slowly, that can work. Oh, you know what? He's just attack moving over, but Best a little bit out of position for that engage. Looks like he wants to take it now. Let's see if he can get some good size storms out. Oh, the EMP comes down, but he drops another one. Another good size storm lands on those tanks, and the Zealot's getting in on top of everything. More size storms go down. You can see some of those mines starting to trigger on top of these siege tanks, and that is the danger of sieging on top of some mines. Now, he will hold on. He keeps his siege tanks alive, or a lot of them alive at least. Pushes back Best's army, but Best will start remaking that army right now. Uh, we have a few mines up here. He sees this being taken, so immediately rotates some vultures up to try to harass it. Maybe he can force a cancel onto this Nexus, but Best moving forward right now with these Dragoons. Looks like he should be able to save it. That command center is done. He's going to go ahead and expand up here to his fourth. Might be thinking about this for his fifth or this for his fifth. Either one can end up working. Hey, kind of a funny move there with the shuttle. He actually had a high Templar in there as well, but it does get picked off. Only kills a tank or two. Getting ready for these SCVs with another storm drop. Kind of a very slow game here from Rush. And honestly, I mean, if you know best style that he's going to be a little bit lighter on probes, this can be a fine way to play, right? Because best is not going to be banking a ton. He's kind of playing like a battle Protoss here as opposed to a sit back and and mine out the whole map type of Protoss. All right, more SCVs being sent up. A lot more SCVs being sent up. 59 against 49 right now. Going to get that really mining. His main base almost mined out. His natural completely mined out. Over on best side, getting into the plasma shields even. We get us two attack, two armor. Really fantastic Protoss upgrades here for him. Actually adding a second robotics as well. So you can tell he wants a lot more observers and speed shuttles added in. Definitely, I think it's a, a total, a totally, uh, can't talk. Totally reasonable thing to do to get more shuttles and observers. Like, you got to remove the mines. you got to keep tabs on what they're doing. And the storm drops and zealot bombs are the most important moves you're making in this game. All right. Rush is moving out. He's building mass turrets to try to stop some of that harassment. Getting into a position where he wants to cut this in half. If he can cut off all the reinforcements, then he can think about killing this base. But that's going to be a hard one to push. Setting up. Sieging forward. Might try to kill this base first. Can be a little hard going over that bridge. Best getting into position with a lot of these Dragoons and Zealots. By the way, guys, uh, you know, when I zoom out for some of these bigger battles, would love to see in the comments uh, if you like the zoom outs to show just how massive these armies are or you prefer more of the standard zoom level. A little bit harder to see what's going on there, but leave me a message in the comments down below. All right, best moving down. Looks like he wants to do a counterattack over here. This is still a lot of mines, a lot of depots blocking, but this is a gigantic army for best. He is maxed out, so he's up about 30 army supply right now. Rush coming down with the rest of his army, trying to get that flank off. 
All right, here we go from Best. He is getting ready for it. Going to start running through the minefield with some Zealots. It's definitely going to pick off the first wave. And the rest of the army of Rush coming down right now. Let's see if he can get off his spells. He has High Templars in this shuttle. Science Vessel's ready to try to throw EMPs down. And don't forget, during all this, Best, I mean, he will begin to bank if you're not taking big, big battles. Looks like he actually screwed up with these Zealots. Uh, they didn't really come out to reinforce. Huge minefields all over the place right now for Rush. So he does start to make his way up the map once again. And as those tanks leave, Best, what is he going to do? Is he going to attack in again? Yes, he is. He starts to attack. Rush immediately turns around with his whole army. But it looks like he's going to clear this minefield at least. Now, Best's army is definitely going to end up dying here. But let's see what side storms he can get off. Two huge ones on those incoming siege tanks. AMP comes out beautifully cast. Uh, some defense matrix saves some of these as well. And Bess's army is going to be eliminated, but he has a lot of gateways. He can replace this quite quickly indeed. Does whittle down some of that as well. Looks like another drop happened over on this fourth base. Right now, Rush needs to be thinking about taking a fifth. Best trying to take the other main base. Mining well. Has his reinforcements coming out of both sides. Not sure what happened right there, but... Oh, he sees the vultures incoming, so going to run those away preemptively. Doesn't want to lose a big chunk of his economy there. A lot of Zealots and High Templars running through the map right now. And Rush's army is so, so scary. Let's take a look what's happening across the map here. The Zealots are running in to that third base. Looks like some running into the fourth as well, but doesn't look like they'll get too much damage there. Although they are starting to destroy the SCVs at the third. Rush moving around with his almost death ballish army just so strong. But he's being picked apart a little bit from harassment. Now, out come some High Templars for those Psy Storms, trying to whittle down this army. It's almost only High Templars fighting against the Protoss army. What the hell am I looking at here? So many storms go down. It's like a hurricane. Oh, my God. He actually whittles it down to a very small size. In the meantime, some more storms down here. Only 39 SCVs remain for Rush, so not that big of an economy while Best continues to expand all around. What a wild and tight game this year. This this game is here, and uh, this series in general. First game kind of looking like this as well. Probes being transferred down for Best. Still coming out on the map with these reinforcements. Got fantastic upgrades. We do have 3-2 uh, for Rush. Picking off anything he can right now. We just, with this type of economy, Rush can't really refill his army all that well. Now coming down and dropping on top of this. Oh my god, another big Psy Storm goes down. Doesn't get that many SCVs, but does damage quite a few of them. More army reinforcing here for best as he tries to take out the fourth base of Rush. It looks like he might be able to do it. Only a couple vultures coming across that map. I think you have to lift. But he is getting up and doing a big counterattack. Let's see if Best can hold on to his main base. Some big Psy Storms going down. Oh my god, Storms absolutely everywhere. And GG is called Best leads 2-0. to zero.